Hey, welcome to Montana Haven. I tell you what we're going to share with you today. I'm excited because I haven't done one of these videos before for you. Um, but I decided what could be beneficial for you rather than just talking about our lives. Here's what I thought I would share with you today. I picked eight of what I felt was some of the top money strategies that have helped us as a family in these you know last few years and I thought these might be helpful for you and so here's what they are and they're not necessarily in any particular order all they are they are all very uh, they're awesome so here's number one are you wanting to make 18 to 22 percent interest I've got an easy way for you to do this you're not gonna like this are you pay off a credit card okay so some of you've got one, two, three, five, ten credit cards, Zimbo credit cards, I don't know. The interest that you're paying if you're carrying a balance is usually 15 to 22 percent, somewhere in that, that neighborhood on an average. Uh, here's what I can tell you, you'll get a return of 15 to 22 percent if you just pay off that credit card. Here's what I'd like you to do. Goal number one. Pay off a credit card. Have a goal this year of paying at least one credit card off. Here's the number one thing that we do. We never carry a balance on our credit cards, ever. Like, ever. So each month, make sure you pay off the balance of your credit card so that it does not cost you any money. If you have a hard time using plastic and overspending, then use a debit card. That's a very good way of not overspending. And then just keep one one credit card for your personal use and one for your business use and pay off the balance each month okay ready for number two here it is okay number two put all your bills on auto pay this is going to help you so much uh, we pay our cell phone bill our home phone bill which I wish you wouldn't have to have a home phone but there's no cell phone service here uh, so we need a home phone uh, your electric bill your insurance uh, put all your bills on auto pay. Okay, that's number two. That's a good way to manage your money. It takes the stress off. All right, number three, here it is. Start an IRA. IRA, what's an IRA? There's a Roth IRA, there's traditional IRA. An IRA, okay. The next goal I'm gonna teach you is going to show you why you need an IRA. An IRA is simply an investment retirement account. And the difference between a Roth and a traditional IRA are a few differences, but mainly the Roth IRA will work for most people in most situations. Um, I will tell you that the Roth IRA is a great way that the government actually did something good for us and they set up um, a f savings account Here's the beauty of a Roth IRA. Whatever money that you grow inside that Roth IRA, that inside that investment account, when you take it out, it's tax-free money. You don't have to pay tax on it. If you make $1, if you make a million dollars, you don't have to pay tax on it when you take it out. So that's a beauty of it. Start an, uh, start a, an IRA and talk with uh, an accountant or somebody that'll, that'll show, show you um, you know, will a traditional work better for you or will a Roth work better for you? But start an IRA this year. Okay, let me give you a big one. This is number four. And this is something that we've done consistently for years and this is difficult for most people to do. I wanna tell you something. If you wanna get ahead financially, you have to do what most people are not willing to do. And that is one thing that you have to do is keep track of your money. You have to keep track of your money. And there are several ways to do that. Uh, there's an app, there's free apps out there. Just find one uh, that fits your fancy. One's called Shoebox. We personally, I just made a simple spreadsheet. It works great for us. We've helped a lot of people with that. I'm willing to share that with you one. It's an Excel or a number spreadsheet. And we just simply put in our numbers at the end of the month that tells us how much money we spend in each category and how much money that we've got left over or if we overspend. Um, but here's what I want to tell you. There's a law. I believe in laws. Do you believe in laws? So like the law of gravity, right? If you fall down, you're going to hit the ground, right? You're not going to 
float away. And there's other laws, for example, spiritual laws, that I believe are also in effect. And they're in effect whether we choose to believe them or not, they're just there. Uh, and one of those laws is uh, the law of sowing and reaping. Um, another one of those laws, I'll talk about that in a minute, another of those laws is if you take care of the money that you have, or resources, it could be resources, but in this instance we're talking about finances. If you take care, if you manage the finances, more will be given to you. If you're not very good at managing, money gets out of your hands. There's a law that says you can't control money and the money will just disappear from you. But if you keep track of it, you manage it, you tell the money what to do, it will obey you. Okay, so uh, that's the, the goal here is to keep track of your money. Uh, you have to set a set a hard goal each month, um, and I can in a later video if you like comment below. And if you want to know exactly how we do that, um, I'd be more than happy to share that with you. I really have a passion to help people with their finances, uh, and this has helped us out tremendously because you know where every dollar is going each month. Uh, you don't you don't guess. Are you overspending? Um, are we staying in our limits? Uh, there's no guesswork. We know exactly how much money. Uh, goes all where our money we tell our money where to go and our money obeys us okay here's the next one okay this is a tough one are you ready do I want to do I want to actually tell you this because this this could mean you might get ahead in life yeah I will tell you what I learned this from someone by the name of Hans Johnson here's what Hans taught me is live on 70% of your income Okay, I know what you're thinking. I can't live on 100% of my income. Okay, remember what I just said? If you keep track of your money, your money will learn to obey you, okay? Here's the, here's the rule. You you give 10%, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, you put 10% of your income on uh, debt, if you have debt, and you invest 10%. And I will tell you that everyone can get wealthy over time. It does not matter. Um, if you follow some simple rules, if you follow this 10, 10, 10, and 70 rule, and you live on 70% of your income, you will get wealthy uh, eventually. It takes time. Most people, it takes time. There's a few people that get rich quick, and then they lose it quick, right? Okay, so pay 10%. Uh, give 10%. Pay 10% to your debt. And put 10% investment. And we can talk about investments later. Okay, if you don't have debt, that's awesome. Good job. Put 20% in, in your investments, okay? Live on 70%. You have to live on 70% if you uh, plan on becoming debt-free. Um, so that is the key set, live on 70% of your income. That is what we've tried to do for years, lived uh, a lifestyle where we can live on 70%. And we don't always hit it perfectly, I'll be the first to tell you about that. Uh, but that is our goal, is to live on 70%. And that has really helped us out. It's allowed us to open up uh, the IRAs for my wife and I uh, both. And we consistently invest. Um, if we have debt, we if we ever come in debt, whether it's business or personal, we, we pay that off consistently. And so that is that tip. Okay, talking about investing. Here's what I want you to do. Investing is scary, right? Who knows about investing? Okay, like Schwab, Fidelity. Do I have to go through those guys? That's scary. They, I walk in there, and I'm a country boy. I don't even know what to talk about. I think I'll just stay away. No. Okay, technology has made it easier for everyone. There's free apps. There's like Robinhood, okay? Go to Robinhood, download the app and you'll get a free stock. You're in the business right away. So take $100 and and buy a stock. Uh, buy something that is, you know, Apple or uh, Johnson & Johnson or uh, just a blue chip stock, something that um, has been solid for years, Coca-Cola, and you've started being an investor, okay? And then you can check that stock and you can watch it grow, okay? That is the next secret. Just start somewhere okay just start that is the key all right are you ready for number seven learn a new skill okay i have been amazed this these past few years i haven't learned anything new in quite some time but the past few years i've actually learned a few new skills um i actually became well 
yes, I'll just tell you, I guess. I actually uh, got an, a license uh, from the state. I had to do a lot of studying so I would be able to help people uh, financially um, open up IRAs, help them with their life insurance, just things like that. Um, that took a lot, and I, I was surprised. I was able to learn that. Um, as you know, we raise dogs, and what does it take to raise a puppy? Uh, what does it take to sell a puppy, to market a puppy, to have a healthy dog? One thing for you is how about learning a new skill of cooking? How about doing this? You want to do some investing? Okay. Make some food at home. How about not eating out for a week or two? Save that money. Learn a new skill. Learn a few uh, recipes that are inexpensive to make and save that money. Now you've got enough money to, to invest. Okay. So learn a new skill in 2020. It's not that hard. Um, set time aside and just decide what you want to do and just do it. All right. The last big one. Are you ready? This is another one that's difficult. And this was difficult for me in the beginning. It's easier for some people for some reason. They have a natural uh, bent towards this, but it's called giving. And I do believe there's also a spiritual law about giving. And if you give with an open hand, you have an open hand to receive as well. And it goes both ways. The more you give, the more that you receive. It's a law of sowing and reaping. I do believe whatever you sow, if you sow... For example, your body, you eat uh, junk food and you sit on the couch and watch TV all the time, your body, you're going to reap an unhealthy body. If you sow bad financial habits, you will reap, reap bad financial uh, ruin. As you give, I believe there's a law um, that says this person is not stingy, he's not greedy, and it puts a protection around your finances. Uh, essentially a fence around your finances. Um, a lot of people put money in a bag, maybe your paycheck, and it seems the bag has a hole in it. It just disappears. So give. I'd encourage you to give. The goal is at least 10%. The, the key here is start, okay? Just start giving. You're like, I can't even live on 100% of my income. How do I live on 70% of my income, right? Or give 10% away. Just start giving. Give 1% of your income. And then you'll see that you have money left over. I'm always surprised. We, we are never in great need if we give. The more we give, we're, that doesn't, it seems there's always money there. We are blessed by giving. I guess that's what I'm saying. Um, start by 1%, start by 5%, and increase to 10%, and more if you can. If you give an offering above 10%, I believe there's a great blessing in that. And, and, and that creates uh, abundance. Uh, that creates abundance and it creates um, opportunity for more abundance in your life. So I encourage you to give at least 10% of your income and you will be surprised, I do believe, what will happen in your life if you start giving. And if you don't give uh, 10%, give what you can, but work towards that 10% as a minimum. All right, thank you so much for watching our channel, Montana Haven. It's always so fun. I hope this was helpful for you and leave comments. If I can help you, I will. I'm no genius, but uh, I do have a passion for finances, helping people with finances. Um, if you have questions about an IRA, um, throw me some, give me some feedback with that. I Maybe I can point you in the right direction with that um, or give you some ideas, suggestions, and God bless you, and I will talk to you later. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.